Welcome back to the gun channel. So you bought a rifle and you threw a red dot on it and you're wondering about some backup sights. Or you're gonna go old school and you're not sure about this whole electricity thing working out and you just want some good sights as your primary sights. So we're gonna go over this topic using these super cool flip up metal sights by XS Sights. They also sent me these angled or canted sights to be helpful with transition speeds. for uh, being legal for competition, CQB, or maybe you just want to look dope as fuck for YouTube. Excess Sites sent these sites out to me to review. They don't get to see this before I release it to the YouTube world, and they just told me to send them a link and to have fun with them. So that's my relationship with them. Let's start up with these flip up backup sites. In fact, I think many of you would use these as your primary sights and be perfectly happy with it. Throw on a weapon light and just go to town with it. They're that good. Working with optics and sights for your weapon system can oftentimes be more confusing than picking your weapon system itself, and oftentimes a better investment. To put them down, you do have to push the button there on the side and they'll go down easily. They do lock into place really strong. They have a little play or wiggle in them, but it doesn't seem to affect accuracy. They install really simply and they don't take up too much room on your Picatinny rail. The iris on the rear sight has two settings and one for sort of up close and personal and the other one maybe to help you reach out a little further. The height of these sights are your typical lower thirds co-witness height. These sights have a lot of options of different weapons to go on. Um, they will work great on any AR-15 platform, of course, and I'm using them here on the CZ Scorpion. So shooting with these sights during the day is a breeze. It's caveman simple. You really can't mess it up. Um, they silhouette nicely. So if you're in a uh, dark room or something like that and you use your weapon light, the silhouette is beautiful. Really easy to pick up, really easy to see. The front post has a tritium night sight set up on it, so that's always nice to see whether you need that or not. Either way, it's on there and it's nice to have. I hear a lot of people getting sort of up in arms, no pun intended, <laughs> on the internets in regards to why the hell do you need a night sight? The biggest argument is saying like, hey, if you can't identify the target, then why are you aiming at it and then shooting at it anyway? I had one instructor show me a way where you could actually see the silhouette of a target, go ahead and line your sights up and then last minute identify before you sent the round down. So there are some situations where night sights can be nice. With this particular setup, these sights co-witness really well. If I have both of the sights flipped up, it is a little busy looking through my red dot. Um, something I'm gonna train into. Um, so it's nice to have the option to either leave them up or flip them down, but also packing it into a backpack or into tight spots where you don't want these sights to get hung up. Uh, it is a great option, again, to be able to flip these things down. These are metal construction, so no worries there. Avatar Mike here. Excess sights are precision machine from Stress Proof Steel. And what about these really cool canted sights? I suppose most people would probably use them in a sport where they could have their long range optic on top as a primary and be able to just shift it right over to the side for an up and close secondary sight, gaining speed during transition between close range and long range targets. I think that's probably the most common use for these particular sights and setup. And of course they could just be used as a set of backup sights that stay on your weapon and permanently zeroed in, especially if you're a kind of person that likes to change their optics out a lot. The cool thing about these sights is they come directly, that front post and that back V-notch, they come directly from their pistols. So they have these brackets that go on there, their pistol sights screw right into that and they're completely adjustable. And the sight picture is designed to sort of be out in front. So, you know, a couple of feet from your face. And so you can have those sights, set them out front on your handrail, and they're sort of at that normal pistol viewing range, if that makes any sense. And so that really opens up the top part of your weapon system to change out your optics, if that's something you do a lot. And you can just leave these set it and forget it, and just leave them set up and you don't have to re-zero them. I went online and, and looked at other people's reviews of these canted sights and just know that these are version twos. There's a lot of reviews out there going over version ones and people weren't exactly happy with this specific angle of them. These are version twos and they seem to have solved that problem. If you look at the XS sights website, they'll show you, you know, that you lift your forearm up and it puts it at the perfect angle. 
I mean, so you're not just trying to rot you're not breaking your shoulder and just rotating the weapon. You're actually just lifting your elbow up, which rotates your shoulder to the perfect angle for these sides. So it really lines up quite perfectly if you do it just like the website sets do. Like I said earlier, I think these would be perfect for something like the tactical games or other competitions to where you're only allowed iron backup sights. Another way to use these is to maybe go around structures or concealment and keep in your firearm on your dominant or your right shoulder. And you can come around and angle and get your shots off without having to switch shoulders or to expose yourself Sights on my weapon as backup sights or even primary sights brings a level of comfort I did not expect. Just knowing there's a really high quality metal backup sight on that weapon system just feels really good in my subcockle area. Installation of these guys is pretty straightforward. They do ship with Allen keys and Loctite, so that's nice. You can adjust the front post and it comes with a special tool to do that for adjusting your height. And then of course, windage is also adjustable. So basically, everything you need blows shit up at the gun range. And a big thanks to Excess Sites for sending these out. I really appreciate it. I will be doing a follow-up review on these sites, so be sure and hit subscribe if you're into that. My name is Mike. You're at the Gun Channel. We'll see you soon. Going hot. Ah! <laughs>